Radio <coughs> check. Jerk. Looks okay. Check. Looks nice. All right, let's get started real quick because uh, time is of the essence. Welcome to the Chainsaw Bar. I'm your host Mike. This is a short little segue vote thingy, Bob. And we're just going to do our real short episode. We're going to vote for this year's 2024 Fangoria Chainsaw Awards. And the polls close tomorrow, so we probably won't have this edited and published before. <laughs> probably. Actually, wow. I'm going to drop it probably. I'll get it done. I'm, we do it, have other things to talk about that we might not get to on this because uh, we forgot and we're, only, we're only doing a short one but we are going to cover one film that we watched this week and Maddie's got a real bug up her ass yeah real scalpel to pull on that one <laughs> <laughs> but let's get to it oh, let's go back oh, alright welcome to the 2024 Fangoria Chainsaw Blah 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 Awards vote now uh, voting rules you don't have to watch you don't have to vote in each category you can select didn't watch, skip, one vote per person, no bots, and um, must be voted by, by tomorrow. I don't think we have any bots listening to our podcast. I, I really don't think so. I don't think so either, but you never know. <laughs> bots, you're not allowed to. All right, that jumps us to the categories. Best wide release movie. And we're just going to cast our votes, but we discuss what we've seen because... Uh, Damn, these are you've, you've seen way more than yeah. I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't see Talk to Me. I didn't see Infinity Pool. De- Evil Dead Rises was really great. Where Evil Lurks I heard was good, but didn't see it. I started Satanic Hispanics. Gunnus Godzilla minus one was epic. Abigail was cute. Late Night with the Devil was really nice. First Omen didn't watch. Megan. What do you think, babe? About these um, ones? I'm going with out of what I've seen. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go with Godzilla minus one. Gojira. Yeah, I gotta go with that myself also because that was fantastic. You want to read the next? Yeah, go for it. I don't know how to pronounce that first word because I haven't seen the film. Wait, what? You have the same thing. Best release. Best in- limited release. First words cobweb. Okay, yours is going different than mine. Cobweb, suitable flesh. Okay. Okay, it's the same, but look neither in a different order. Oh, uh, okay. All right, yeah. So, any is men, I'm guessing is how you say that. No. I saw the TV glow, suitable flesh, the outwaters, cobweb. I didn't see any of these films. Well, I wanted to watch. Suitable flesh, I know yeah. you did, but I was not. And I heard, I saw the TV glow was, so I'm going to have to go with. Didn't see skip category, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, yep. we are terrible at this. Gotta be honest. Best streaming premiere. Should I read? Go ahead. Okay. It's your turn. Like First, we're taking turns. Yeah, yeah. Where the devil roams, no one will save you. VHS, nineteen eighty-five. Sick. Totally killer. And you know what? Again, I didn't see any of these. No, I wanted. I keep wanting to watch VHS eighty-five, but and I heard it was good. Yeah, from, from somebody, but... Yeah, skip category. That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is embarrassing. I've not watched any of these movies. Oh, man. This one's weird. Although I did want to watch the angry black girl and her monster. Really? I've tried to wake you watch that, and you just ignored it. No? Well, not that I want to watch that. I pointed it out. And hey, what? best first yeah. feature. Birth, rebirth, skin and rink, it lives inside, stop motion, angry girl and her monster. Angry black girl and her monster. Yeah, I want to see that, but... I'm going to be a weirdo and give an angry black girl and a monster a vote because I read about it. I like the director. I'm going to give that one a vote. Even though... You like the director whose first feature this is? Yeah. What else did she direct that wasn't a feature? 
Okay, I'm mistaken. Maybe I wasn't, but it looked cool. That's the one I want to vote for. It did look cool, but... Best international movie, Exuma, Yurisera, The Bone Woman, Where Evil Lurks, The Coffee Table, Infested, and... Yeah, this category, I've uh, seen this, I didn't know any of these. Although, like, Sarah seems like it's a sequel to something. And it seems like that's kind of like a, it's definitely a series, seems like. But, uh, Infested looks neat. It's, I think, on Shudder, but I haven't seen any of these. I've heard about The Coffee Table, but I didn't watch any of them, so unfortunate. Ooh, you get a good one. Okay, best lead performance. Sydney Sweeney, Immaculate, Emma Stone, Poor Things, Lily Sullivan, Evil Dead Rise, mm-hmm. Nell Tiger Free, The First Omen, Lupita Nyongo, A Quiet Place, Day One, Caitlin Dever, No One Will Save You. I'm not sure if I pronounced her last name wrong. It could be Dever. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going with Dever. Catherine Newton. Lisa Frankenstein, mm. David Dust Mulchin, Late Night with the Devil, Tobin Bell, Saw 10. It's, it's 10, right? Not X. <laughs> Saw X. It's actually Saw X. Which is like the uh, is it the 10th sequel? Okay. Yeah, um, Sophie Wilde, Talk to Me. And that's it. That's what you got, y'all. Mm. I've seen like three of these films. Yeah. And Mike's seen one more than me. Yeah. That's a tricky choice for me, personally. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with Emma Stone. That would be a fucking great performance for me, personally. Yeah. I really liked the other lead performances of the ones I've seen, but... Mm, That was really outstanding. Okay. All right. Best Supporting Performance. Dave Bautista, Knock at the Cabin. Catherine Newton, Abigail. Mia Goth, Infinity Pool. Dwayne Perkins, The Blackening. I can't remember which one he was. Bridget Lindy Payne, I Saw the TV Glow. Joe Bird, Talk to Me. Alyssa Sunderland, Evil Dead Rise. Did you miss Nicholas Cage? No, no. Oh. I was just burping. Nicholas <laughs> Cage, Renfield. Dan Stevens, Abigail. Alicia Ware, Abigail. Abigail got a lot of damn notes in this one. Hmm. I'm just trying to remember which one was which, but they were all kind of alright. I mean, I liked Catherine Newton and Abigail. That was really fun with the pole dancing sequence, but. But. Hmm. But. Okay, you go first and then I'll, I'll go. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Catherine Newton, Abigail. She's the vampire. Um, she was the the punk rock kind of chick. Who was Abigail? Well, Alicia that wouldn't Ware. be a supporting performance, would it? I think it could be. No, they were it wouldn't. Vampire. She's the main character. Uh, Alicia Weir, Weir, however she pronounces it, is probably the um, the badass main chick who couldn't raise her son because she was a junkie. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to do a quick thing for cast. Let's see. Joey Dean. Alicia Ware was Abigail. Oh, really? Yep. Why is that a supporting actress? Because the, they were following Melissa yeah. Barrett. Yeah, she wasn't the main character, actually. Sammy. Yep. Kevin Durden. God, I like Kevin Durden. The, that weird... Damn. Kevin Durden. Looking like damn uh, beefy fucking... Tech billionaire that runs Tesla. I'm gonna pick Nicolas Cage for Renfield because, for one thing, that movie still cracks me up when I think about it, and uh, also because it's just weird to think of Nicolas Cage doing a supporting role. But he was. The movie was about Renfield, not about Dracula. I'm gonna drop the Alicia Ware, so that's my vote. Okay. Because she was creepy. She was, and she's a little kid, so come on, little kid. Mm hmm. Doing a good job. Good start. All right. Your category. Oh. Next. <laughs> Best director. 
Arkasha Stevenson, The First Omen, Lee Cronin, Evil Dead Rise, Brandon Cronenberg, Infinity Pool, uh, Damien Rogna, When Evil Lurks, Danny and Michelle Filippo, Talk to Me. Hmm. Kind of want to vote for Cronenberg, despite the fact I didn't see it. But that's just a Cronenberg thing. Is that Cronenberg's son? I think it is. Is this some Nepo baby? I think so. Stuff happening? Like I mean, I'm. You, hmm. But I'm going to definitely go with the Lee Cronin because I did see Evil Dead Rise out of these. Right, right, you did. Evil Dead Rise was pretty great. So that's my I didn't want to see Evil Dead Rise, and, I, and I'm not going to. Um, just like. Because I. Because it's not Raimi and it. It didn't look funny, and I think I, Evil Dead oh, needs to be funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, it's your turn. No, I wasn't. I wasn't? I thought... All right. Wait, I thought... Anyway, best screenplay. Danny Filippopo and Bill Heinzman talked to me. Alika Cooper, story by Alika Cooper and James Wan, Megan... Kesha Stevenson, Tim Smith, Keith Thomas, story by Ben Jacoby, The First Omen. Brandon Cronenberg, Infinity Pool. Colin and Carmen Karen's Late Night with the Devil. Hmm. That's screenplay. And Is it Karen's? Karen's. Karen's. Either way. Come on, we I've only seen two of these, so like... Uh, like, one seems kind of... Typical like AI, so I'm definitely. I liked it a lot. It was creepy, scary, weird, but uh, the story is just kind of basic. So I'm gonna go with Late Night with the Devil mm. on that particular vote. Best cinematography: Pierce Dirks in A Violent Nature. Heard that was good. Kareem Hussein, Infinity Pool. Aaron Morton, The First Omen. Eric K.U., I Saw the TV Glow, Robbie Ryan, Poor Things. Hmm. Well, of all the things I've seen on that list, I'd probably have to go with Robbie Ryan, because that's the only one I have seen. Mm-hmm. Best Makeup FX. Luke Pulte, Evil Dead Rise. Steven Kostansky, In a Violent Nature. Marcos Berta, Where Evil Lurks. Liz Byron... Paul Byron, Matthew Smith, Abigail, Beck Baruta, Paul Cat, and Nick Nicolau. Talk to me. And, hmm. Evil Dead Rise, though. Yeah, for me, that was it. Like, I did enjoy Abigail. I did. But it was great makeup effects. But I've also, I didn't watch Evil Dead Rise, we just said, but I did see the trailer. Yeah, the makeup was pretty on spot for an Evil Dead movie, so I definitely get that vote. That one was on point. Best Creature FX. Theory Onilon or Mm. Onion and Leo Ewald Infested. Sorry, Leo. Uh, Adam Johansson and Damian Martin, Odd Studio, Evil Dead Rise. Goran Lundstrom, The Last Voyage of the Demeter. I want to see that. I thought you did see that. Didn't see it. Hmm. Jim Henson's Creature Shop, Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm, people love that. Adrian Moreau, Moreau and Kathy Say, Moreau FX Studios, Megan. Hmm. Creatures. Creatures. I've seen the monster in I've seen the monster in Last Voyage of the Demeter, so that was a cool looking creature. All the scenes I've seen of it looked great. Megan looked all right, creepy as shit, little girl, like looking like a android. That was really well done. Is that a creature? It's a something. Mm-hmm. Evil Dead Rise had a lot of cool stuff in it, a lot of cool effects. A few things taken over. If we're doing volume, it'd be Evil Dead Rise, but if we're doing quality. I might have to go with Megan because Megan, like, they made her look really creepy in the face. 
and really plastic, even though it was a little girl in that costume. It was pretty impressive. So I'm going to go with Megan. All right. Best. I could have gone into this with like looking more at the things in the categories. We mm. could have been better prepared or at least seen the pictures. Yeah, you've seen the post on the Facebook, so you're okay. I, yeah. I, I don't. You didn't even look at it. Nah, Tragic. No. Best costume design. That's Megan cool. McLaughlin, Lisa Frankenstein, Stephen Hook, Late Night with the Devil, Holly Waddington, Four Things, Francesca Bruno, Riri, Bruno Rory, Immaculate, didn't even see that one, Paco Delgado, The First Moment. Who? I'm going to go with Four Things. The awesome costumes. Yeah. Yeah, even though the, the time frame for Late Night the Devil kind of nailed their fucking crazy. Yeah, that was great costuming, too. Like, who, rem- wrong, who remembers but... the 70s that well? Right. So, yeah. Damn, Poor Things nailed it, but at the same time, like, yeah. Poor Things. Pretty rad. Best score. Again, I could have listened to these things. If I knew we were doing this with more than like 10 minutes notice. Um, Stephen McKeon, Evil Dead Rise, mm. Alex G, I Saw the TV Glow, Naoki Sato, Godzilla Minus One, Mark Corvin, The First Omen, Tim Hecker, Infinity Pool. Ah, oh, yours was totally upside down. Mine was the reverse that. So. Tell you, they're, it's all random, so you can't be a bot. That's kind of funny. Mine was started with the uh, Tim Heckler and then with Steven Simakia <laughs> but yeah I'm definitely going Godzilla minus one for this one because yeah. that was awesome that was awesome best documentary feature we kill for love Satan wants you Dargi Dario the oh, god damn why am I fucking <laughs> this one up Dario Agento <laughs> Panico the legacy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Shark Exploitation and for me oh, man they were both good but Argento's Panico was really it hit home for me, but Shark Exploitation was a fantastic documentary, and those are the only two I see now. This I list. I haven't watched any of these. Oof. Yeah, you missed a lot of Shark Exploitation. It was a real good documentary. What the fuck, man? Just but Panico was real. And they're watching. That's my Tuesday morning, man. Tuesday morning, I get to watch all the cool stuff, and then you don't do anything but sleep through it. Mm. Best series, Chucky. Yellow Jackets, The Last of Us, Interview with a Vampire, The Fall of the House of Usher. Mm. Now, I only saw the first episode of Yellow Jackets. It's pretty intense. Probably yeah. good. I what? haven't watched the new Interview with a Vampire or The Fall of the House of Usher, even though The Fall of the House of Usher looks really good. We did watch the first episode of Interview with the Vampire series. Oh, did we? Yeah. No good well, that me. shows how I feel about that. It was really nice. I liked it. But I didn't, we haven't had time to watch anything else because we we're busy people. But I didn't watch any Yellow Jackets. That was the first episode of Yellow Jackets. Pretty intense. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty intense, but Chucky. we don't subscribe to that channel, so yeah. <laughs> didn't finish watching it. Yeah, unfortunate. Chuck, you didn't even know where that was streaming. No. We, we almost watched Fall of the House of Usher that one night. Yeah, we, we were, just, uh, just. I think it, it looks good. It looks interesting to me that they, like, mixed up all of. A girl and Poe's like short stories and and kind of tried to make it cohesive is what it appears to be. Yeah, and that's fun. Don't hate that. I'm, I'm a Poe fan. I'm definitely gonna fall back on that. I'm gonna watch it here over the winter or maybe over fall sometimes. But I love The Last of Us. Just based on episode four, Last of Us, the only episode I've seen gets yes. my vote entirely. The Ooh. love story. Yep. All right, this one is not gonna help anybody. This is not gonna help anybody best video but I did game. not know that there was that one okay Dead Space remake Resident Evil 4 remake The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Killer Clowns from Outer Space The Game and Alan Wake 2 I've seen mm, let's see one well one so far Alan Wake got put in Fortnite so that's the only one I know like as a video game that got transferred over to North Carolina Video Gaming's Epic games, but still, I don't know what's about. I'm gonna leave this one for the gamers, but why are they just now making a killer clowns from outer space I don't video know. game? Yeah, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I also, that, yeah, yeah, Resident Evil remake. Uh, come on, guys, 
Oh, well. I got nothing. Like, I can't, can you I, just have a Resident Evil 5 or whatever Resident Evil we're on? Yeah, now they're just going to call it Remake and just go on with it, I guess. But maybe Resident Evil 4 was really old, and then they just upgraded the graphics and the effects and made it look really pretty because oh, people so. love the story. And my brothers used to like to play that game. I played the first two. They were awesome. But, yeah, I didn't play anything after that. Yeah, I enjoyed Resident Evil, but... I'm, I'm just know. not. I'm not a gamer. Yet. I'm not these kind of gamers. I don't play anything like that. I just kind of run and gun and run people over in cars and shit in Fortnite. That's all I play. So I can't vote on this category. Although Killer Clown should get a vote, <laughs> despite how bad it might be. Hmm. Best nonfiction series or miniseries. Oh, well, this, this one's is, hard. That is hard. We'll have to pull on to these. Uh, the Boulet Brothers Dragula season five. Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs, The Infield Poltergeist, Amityville, An Origin Story, or Spin Ghoulie. Damn, that is brutal. Like, we watched three of these on the regular. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, damn. I'm going to personally, I love you, Spin, but... Boulet Brothers Season 5 was pretty solid. Like, that was Same. intense. Yeah. Best? Best kill. Hmm. This is what you have to remember kills. This was a write-in. This was like, they said that this was happening in it. It's like, oh, tell us. Best kill. Then you have to click I'm not bot, so they didn't know you're not bot. That's tricky. Best kill I've seen? Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm going with. Mm -mm. I fucking don't. <laughs> yeah, totally know what it is. I I don't I don't know. So terrifying. It was so fucking epic. All right, I'm not a robot. All right, my best kill. Godzilla Nuka Japan. That wow. was terrifying. In theaters, just... Mm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty terrifying. Submit. And that is my viewing. Thank you for voting. Oh, it was just such a completely Japanese perspective. Oh, God, yeah. The fact that... And, went, like, what those films were really about. Verification expired. Okay, well, I don't know what my worst kill is. Best kill is. I can't think of it. I can't think of all the kills. Just hit, I'm not bought and submit. You don't have to write anything in. Oh, I don't. No, oh, please enter a value. Okay, I'm going to just steal yours then. Yeah, that's a good one. Godzilla Nuka Japan. It's pretty. Damn, that was fucking so brutal. Post, like, America being America. Godzilla just shows up and does it again. Fuck. Brutal. Just brutal. Ooh, wait. Let friends know you voted by sharing on social for a chance to win official Fangoria and Chainsaw Awards merch. Yeah, I'll share that, motherfuckers. I have friends who care about this shit. Oh, no, I can't because I don't know my password. But you can. Share on Facebook, I guess. It is asking me for my password. Mm -hmm. I never know my password. It's just permanently on my phone. Well, there you have it, y'all. Mike and I don't go out much. I'm just going to copy the URL. Hmm? Copy the URL. Hmm. Oh, copy the URL, but it still work? I'm going to go find out. Enter to win. You go on our Facebook page. Hmm. And then I'm going to post, paste, post. We'll let you know when it's uploaded. Maybe, maybe you'll be entered to win, maybe not. No, there it is. It's on the thing. It's like the vote I put in earlier on the page telling you guys to vote. So there we have it. For me, at least. Well, I got an entry, hopefully. Not for me, because I closed it out because I was mad. Yep. For people who remember passwords and shit. 
Here, um, I'll forward you the link. It's about the same link. <laughs> no, wait, that's not it. I go back to our Facebooks. The page Facebooks. No, it's the same thing. Just a that link in your messages. Just copy it and post it to the Facebook. And then whatever. Really? Yeah, because either way, they're just going on your damn email address and then check mm. things. Who knows? Who knows how that works? Maybe maybe I'll win some merchandise. Be rad. Merchandise. But it's probably just generally like, ah, oh, you voted. You got real email. All right, your email's entered. You go. Thanks for voting. We'll talk to you next year. We're going to start voting in October, so, or in July for an October show instead of like the May or whatever they usually do. And who knows if David Desmalchin will be the host. Who knows? Generally. Generally. They've got a character built up for that. But let's jump into one movie review since we've cast our votes and let people know about the deadline about voting for the Fangoria Awards. Thank you, Fangoria. Hopefully you give me some merch. Get my name pulled. I'm pretty lucky about those kind of prizes. Yeah. But, alright, that's all we got for that. Let's jump into one movie review for the night and then we're done. And this movie review comes from, um, 90s? Yeah. Yep. And you want to call it? I'm going to say you're, 1990. You're, you're kind of. I, I want to say 90. And it, probably not any later than that. Yeah, because you're the, you're the one that really wanted to talk the points of this craziest I just, thing. You know. <laughs> there's a couple things. So, um, 92. Okay. 92. In 92, I was hmm, 13 years old. 92, I was... My uh, brother would not let me watch this film. A junior he or... Would, he was, I was junior sophomore. He was very protective over what films he would... I could watch um, when it came to horror movies because he thought I was going to have nightmares. And yet, like I've said, they let me watch Twin Peaks, Twin Peaks from the time I was 10 years old. They all did. But some things were just, uh, you know, taboo. So, first time watching Dr. Giggles. <laughs> Terrible. And it just it begs for a couple of questions. First of all, I'm not saying... But I am saying, we watched this right before Shannon Doherty passed away. Mm -hmm. Holly Marie that. Combs was in it. Holly Marie Combs and Shannon Doherty were co-stars on Charmed. Six degrees of separation shit, man. Mm -hmm. Especially given. Yeah. Um, but that isn't what I wanted to talk about, Dr. Riedel. So what I wanted to talk about was one thing. How awkward was it for the screenwriter to write a scene where dude is asking his girlfriend to put on his mother's lingerie? Like, so how do you how do you feel good about writing that? Did that just seem like, yeah, any dude would be into that? Here, wear my mom's sexy undies. Yeah. Put on my mom's fishnet thigh highs. Man, that was weird. That was a weird scene and definitely a weird like, writing kind of concept. These are my takeaways from Dr. Giggles. So. <laughs> <laughs> that? Like, what? Huh? How, how? Who came up with that idea in this in this screenplay? How'd that get sold through? How did that? And everybody's just like, yeah, we all like think about fucking our mom. Um, <laughs> Welcome to Caligula. Right? right? The, mm -hmm. uh, the other thing I was thinking is I was watching like some of the um, little clips from the RNC convention the other day. Oh, dear God. Where, right, you, where, you, where you, Marjorie Taylor Greene is trying to do the whole thing where they're now like, um, yeah, we're unity and we're not going to be divisive and I'm not going to yeah. say crazy shit about Jewish space lasers. That and so the whole time, every time she has to say one of these lines that's positive, she gets this big grin on her face, and every time she grins, she goes, <laughs> exactly like Dr. Giggles. Now you tell me, friends, Oof. Yeah. why does she sound like Dr. Giggles when she's trying 
to obviously oppress her own insanity. <laughs> I that was think a they, hard I one. think it spoke for itself. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Every time. I mean, uh, yeah, y'all go back and watch this. It's, it's, it's fucking it's a trip. Yeah. Whatever your politics are, we all know that bitch was crazy. Yeah, that was fucking nuts. So that's what I had to say about Dr. Eagles. That was Dr. Eagles, man. That weird, was... weird mom's lingerie thing. And MGT or MTG. Just being extra creepy. It's extra creepy when she's trying to not be insane. Especially with the Dr. Giggles giggle. Yeah, especially since we just watched it, then we seen that. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, whoa. She watched Giggles too. Then it just is she Doctor Giggles? Like I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, it was brutal. They're both certifiably insane. <laughs> God, that's <was> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, that was creepy. Her trying to be straight face and <laughs> she's, like, oh. she's just trying to mm-hmm. do this new. To her that she's lying, so that's funny. This, you know, we're toning it down. We're cooling down the rhetoric. We're going to have a rhetoric of unity. (laughs) Which didn't happen at all, by the way. But she gave a good effort. (laughs) (laughs) Better better than so. Couldn't keep straight face out for her, No, I think she was trying to look positive, actually. Jeez Louise. Ugh. All right. Yeah, but, she could keep a, a happy face. And that was the scary thing. It's like... Oof. How that blonde chick in the Adam Stanley movie must have felt, felt when she saw Wednesday Adam smile. <laughs> yeah. Make her stop. She's scaring me. Yeah, that's true. That was pretty accurate. That's how I felt about yeah, seeing that, like... that. And then the Dr. Eagles people. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that one kills Wild. me. Wild. It's like, oh, so good. All right, Dr. Gilligles, I'm giving that a seven, a solid seven. That solid seven. Mm-hmm. There's no way they could have made a good sequel out of that because it had already been done and everything's been done for that. That was a perfect ending to it. Certainly they could have if it came from a comic book. They could have made all kinds of sequels. Or there were no sequels to the comic book and it was just a one-off. True. But well, I, I never read it. Old Dark Horse trying to get them in the game. But, yeah, once again, making a weird, cool product that... Man, weird, cool product. But, alright, let's call that. I'm going to try getting this edited and put out tonight, but that's all we got here at the Chainsaw Bar. You guys got some... <laughs> and that's about all we got for this. Right. Guys, check out the damn uh, Fangoria Chainsaw Awards when they come out in October. Try <laughs> to get your vote in. Try to get your name in the hat for some cool Fango Giro. And um, that's about all I got. You got anything else, babe? No. All right. Y'all social distance, wash your hands, watch some horror movies. That's all we got. And go vote for Fangoria 2024. Cheers. And vroom. Vroom. Think.